friends, I hope you're doing well. I have some more words for you that I want your help to find the letter that it starts with. <clears throat> the first one that I have is a tricky one. It's x-ray. X-ray. See, he's got a picture of the inside of his body. You see his bones. That's what an x-ray is. You, when you go to the hospital, they can take a picture of the inside of you, and that's called an x-ray. We're hearing the letter that it starts with when we say x-ray. There's not a lot of words I can think of that start with this letter. So it usually sounds like X. It's an X. <laughs> X for X-ray. If you notice, they look the same, but one is big and one is little. Which one is the uppercase then? It's the big one. The big one is your uppercase. And the small one is your lowercase. X for X-ray. Good job, X-ray. What about, what's this guy? This is a walrus. He's got tucks, tu tu tusks, tusks, those big teeth. He's a wa wa walrus This letter sounds like wa wa wa. Do you know what it is for walrus? Or what other words start with that letter? Hmm, wallpaper and I can't think of other words. Walrus. Wa wa wa. Do you know? It's a W. Can you think of words that start with wa wa wa? Miss Phoebe had a hard time. Wa wa wa. We have our uppercase W and our lowercase W. Our lowercase is small and our uppercase is large. Wa wa wa. Like walrus and wallpaper. Wa 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 for W. Good job. But you guys can come up with more words than I can. What about this? This is a v v vulture. V v vulture is a kind of bird. V v v is the letter that we're looking for. V v v. So vulture and. Oh my goodness, I'm having a hard time thinking of words. Velociraptor. <laughs> That's a good one. Velociraptor. Velociraptor and vulture. V v v. V. V makes a v v v sound for velociraptor and vulture. V. We have our big one, is our uppercase V, and our lowercase V. V v v. For vulture and velociraptor. V v v. I'm going to need your help coming up with more words for some of these letters. I wish I had your brains with me. What about unicycle? In unicycle, the letter sounds like U, U. The same letter is in the word umbrella. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, umbrella. Umbrella and unicycle start with what letter? A U. U for unicycle and U for umbrella. Ah, uh, ah, uh, and U. U. They look the same. Though a lot of the ones at the end that we're seeing at the end of our alphabet, our uppercase and our lowercase look the, pretty much the same, but one is big and one is little. Which one is our lowercase? Our small one is our lowercase, and our big one is our uppercase. So our uppercase U and our lowercase U can sound like uh, uh, or U, U for unicycle or umbrella. What about yo-yo, yo-yo or yak, yak and yo-yo. It sounds like ya, 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 ya. Sometimes it sounds like an E, E when it's at the end of the word, but when we see it at the beginning of the word, it usually sounds like a ya, 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 like yo-yo and yak. It's our Y, our Y. We have our uppercase Y and our lowercase Y. They sound like ya, ya for yo-yo. Good job, my friends. We're almost done. We're on our very last one. What animal is this? He's got black and white stripes. 
We'd find him in Africa. Or maybe at the z, -Z zoo He's a zebra. Our z, -Z zebra from our zoo. The letter sounds like z, -Z like zipper. And zoo and zebra. It's the very last letter in our alphabet. Do you know what it is? It's a Z, a Z for zebra and a Z for zoo. Our big one is our uppercase and our small one is our lowercase. They sound like Z, Z for zebra. Good job, my friends. You have now done every letter in the alphabet. You know their beginning sounds. Awesome job. Thank you for using your brains with me. I hope that I see you soon. Bye-bye.